to a forager, finding wild reishi is literally like finding a pot of gold. Ganoderma sugi, aka reishi, or hemlock varnish cap, are definitely one of the more popular of all fungi out there for foraging. Ganoderma sugi is saprotrophic, meaning that it feeds off of dead organic matter, and you'll find them on, of course, dead or dying trees and on old stumps or logs. Now, typically, this type or this species of reishi is found predominantly on eastern hemlock, but it does occasionally uh, grow on birch or maple, in which they are in the area of eastern hemlocks. Now, hemlocks love to grow near streams and rivers, which, doo -doo -doo. let me just show you here. Out there, there's a creek. The eastern hemlock always likes to, or prefers to, grow in an area that is in a lower location. And I know it's hard to see, but through those trees there, the, it, it, the elevation does go higher. And it does prefer natural forests. All Ganoderma species are polypores that have that bright white pore surface and it bruises easily when touched or scratched. They all produce brown spores. Kind of hard to tell by just uh, looking at this and it is very hard to get a spore sample. And if you're interested in doing that, the best way to do it is pretty much get a piece of paper and tack it to the bottom. Let it uh, sit there for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour and you'll get some spores, brown spores. As growth continues, these margins may begin to change color and they will develop a very tough um, skin that has a shiny lacquered appearance. Now, when you harvest it, if you want it for uh, eating, then just cut along here and take the white part. Cut it thin and always, always make sure that you cook the flesh. Never eat this raw. Never. You eat this raw, you might be in for one heck of an amusement ride that... Uh, you're not going to enjoy. And I think, yeah, look at that here. Here's a little bit more starting to grow out here. Best time to harvest is when there is that big, thick, whiter edge. Like right now. Now, if you're planning on using reishi for medicinal purposes, always consult with a qualified health professional um, because there are reports of elevated uh, liver, liver enzymes. And when these, when, yeah, when it's con uh, combined with certain medications, it could end up being a bit of a disaster for your health, and you certainly don't want that. So always, always consult with a qualified health professional. If I'm jumping around here a bit, I apologize. I've got... Uh, <laughs> I'm giving blood to my local mosquito population. Okay, so what is the hype? Look at these guys. Like, what is the hype about Rishi? What is it that it draws so many people into wanting to harvest these? Well, Rishi is, oh, sorry, more mosquitoes. <laughs> Rishi uh, has a lot of major active ingredients. One of them is triterpenes, and these help to elevate common allergies by inhibiting histamine release. It improves oxygen utilization and helps with your liver. Rishi is composed of complex carbohydrates called water-soluble polysaccharides. Very, very good stuff for you. 
triterpenoids, proteins, and tons of amino acids. Very, very, very important for your health. Oh, oh, I'm losing focus. Come on, come on. There we go. So researchers have studied this for years, and they've identified that this has anti-tumor abilities, immune modulating, and it can lower blood pressure. But again, I got to un got to got to reiterate always consult with a qualified health professional first now let's see what else hmm there's no shortage of um, studies out there done in Asia here in North America and uh, in Europe that Rishi can treat a vast range of diseases and common health ailments if you're harvesting this and you're taking it home, you want to put it in your fridge. It'll stay in your fridge for up to five days. Uh, do make sure that it's uh, being stored in a brown paper bag. Never plastic. Never plastic bags. Never plastic containers. If you dry them, cut these up into very, very small pieces. And once they are fully dried, you can store them in mason jars. In a cool dry location so and I, I think I mentioned it but just if in case I didn't um, if you plan on eating these always make sure you cook them first always so Rishi thanks for watching